Hello students, in this session you are going to learn chapter 7 Python functions. Content of the session is user defined functions, built in functions. First of all, what is a function? Functions are named blocks of code that are designed to do one, base, one specific job. Functions are nothing but a group of related statements that perform a specific task. I hope you will remember the concept function because we have discussed this in previous videos in your chapter 1 itself. Anyway, I'll recall. Function is a group of related statements that perform a specific task. A function is used in a program when there is a need to separate a set of statements with a name. Why we are using functions in a program? First of all, a function is a related statement that means a group of statements which do a specific task. Why we are using functions in our program means it avoids repetition and makes high degree of code reusing. Reduce, therefore, it reduces program length. It provides better modularity for your application. So, by using function, we can reduce the length of the program and we can reuse the code. That's why we are implementing modularity. That means splitting a program into sub-programs. Types of functions available in Python. User-defined functions, built-in functions, lambda functions, recursion functions. I'll repeat, user-defined, built-in, lambda, recursion. So among the four in this video, you are going to learn user-defined and built-in. What is user-defined? Functions must be defined to create and use certain functionality. That means we are going to create a function in our program. There are many built-in functions that comes with the language Python. For instance, print function, but you can also define our own function. That means the function print, we have used this to print the result or any content on the display. So the print, the function is a user defined. User defined in the sense, we know that print function is going to display the content on the screen. But we don't know the definition of the print. But in the user defined functions, the function is defined by the user and it is called. So defining a function and calling a function, both are done in user-defined function. But in built-in function, only calling of the function is done. We'll see the difference now. While we, you can understand this by seeing the example. Here, they are given the syntax to define a function. How to define a function? That means use a defined function. We are going to create our own function like the print function. First, we have to start with the keyword def, that is definition, followed by the function name. Within the bracket, we have to say the parameters. Parameters, the arguments followed by a colon. Below that, we have to say the blocks of statements that which is going to be executed by the function. The last line is the return statement. 
Now, any input parameters or arguments should be placed within these parentheses when you define a function. That means within the within the open bracket and the close bracket, we can give any number of parameters or the arguments. And return expression exit the function, optionally passing back an expression to the caller. A return with no arguments is the same as the return none. I'll show you what is this. So here is an example, diff keyword followed by the word hello, print, hello python, return. So the part from diff to return is function definition. This hello is function call. So what is the advantage of using the user defined function? Functions help us to provide, help us to divide a program into modules. This makes the code easier to manage. It implements code reuse. Every time you need to execute a sequence of statements, all you need to do is to call the function. Functions allows us to change functionality easily and different programmers can work on different functions. So first, it's the, it divides the program into modules. Second point, code is reused. And next, allows us to change functionality easily in the sense different programmers can work on different functions. It is done when our program is uh, carried out by many people in a real-time project. Passing parameters in functions. Def followed by a function name, open bracket, close bracket. Within that, we can give arguments. Here, there are two arguments. Return w into h. While we call the program, we have to give the values. 3 is assigned to W, 5 is assigned to H. Function definition with parameters and function call with parameters. We'll see the example in Python IDE. So this is an example of user defined function def hello open bracket close bracket no parameters followed by colon only one line is given here print hello python return here the function is called So only this part from def to return is the function. In the starting, there is a word welcome. Then there is a function definition. Then there is print end. This hello is called here. So you see what is the output. So first welcome is printed. Then end is printed then the hello is called so hello python is in the last line do you understand this def this function is executed only when the function is called as the function call is below the print end it is below the uh, word end for example if i 
hold the line next to this. After function call, the word n will be printed. See the difference. Are you able to see the difference now? Welcome. Then, then the hello. So, hello python. This function is executed. Then the word end. Is it clear children? This is an example for a user defined function. This is a function, user defined function with parameters. So, when we need to call the function, we have to, when here only name is called, but along with the name, we have to pass the parameters. So, as here two parameters, we are giving two values, 3, 5. So first welcome, next hello python, hello python, next end, end, here 3, 5. So 3 into 5, it is 15. So this is, this print is an example for built-in function. This diff area is an example for user-defined function. See this example of built-in function. Here, three variables a, b, c. First one is math dot sqr. That is square root of a. Math. What is math? Import math. Math is a package or library. When we have to use the predefined function of mathematics, we have to use this line import. Then chr of b. Round of c power of 5 comma 3. Here there is no definition for CHR round or power. But it is used. We will get the output because these are all built in functions. We don't know the definition for it. But everything is in the Python library. We can just use, our use the functions. Likewise our user defined functions also used whenever it is necessary. It is just called when we are working in a big project. So first one is math dot square root of a. So here a is that is 6. So the square root is 6. Next one chr of b. b is 65. So the ASCII value of a is 65. So it is giving the character of the value 65. Then round. 25.3 so it is rounded to 25.3 it is left -er. if it is more than 5 it will be rounded to 26 power 5 comma 3 5 to the power 3 5 into 5 into 5 125 here we make it as 7 here we make it as 2 now see the output Here there is no change, 6a. Here 25.7, so it is 26. Here 5 comma 2, so 5 into 5, 25. You understand children? So predefined functions are just called. No definition is needed. Functions that are in built in with Python libraries. There are many built in functions I have given just mathematical functions for example in your book there is there are many just to work out it it will come for your three mark questions so i hope you have understood what is user defined and built-in functions thank you have a good day